capacitors can be found on almost any circuit board that you can find. Uh, we've got them all over this computer motherboard. And here's another computer power supply. Uh, they come in a very wide range of sizes. Here's a really, really tiny one, uh, smaller than any of my fingers. Here's a big one, and they get even bigger than this. I just couldn't find any in the trash. Now, we can make a capacitor out of, you know, some household ingredients. We need a water bottle, some tin foil. I'm Jared Glickstein, and today, on Tech Tuesdays, we're going to make a water bottle capacitor. let's look at how a capacitor works. I've got one right here and I'm going to connect it in my breadboard to 3 volts and to ground. For this particular capacitor, after a few seconds, it's all charged up. So I take it out and I'll connect it to this LED here. It lights up and then slowly dims as the charge from the capacitor is used up. As far as supplies go, you'll need a water bottle, three nails, aluminum foil, uh, as thin as possible, no heavy duty stuff would work well, uh, salt, you need a couple of teaspoons of that, and uh, three uh, alligators. The first step is, if you have not already, empty the bottle of water. And I'm just going to empty it into a glass so that when I use the water later, I don't have to waste some more. Set that aside, and next we're going to remove the label portion. Uh, next step is to take aluminum foil, and we're going to want to cut a strip of aluminum foil that is the size of our bottle. So from the top here, just below the flange, and down to the bottom. All okay. right. Uh, now we're going to take this and carefully wrap it around here, and uh, then when you get to the end here, take a piece of tape and tape it around the bottle. Now we're going to want to smooth this down because you want this aluminum foil to touch the bottle as closely as possible. Okay, I then added a couple of teaspoons of salt, um, a lot more than not on that spoon. Uh, there's stuff that I already put in there. And now I'm going to put um, water in here, just to about uh, three-fourths full. Alright, and now put the lid on, screw it tightly and give the capacitor jar a good shake. Uh, you're going to want to dissolve all of the salt. Okay, once the salt has all been dissolved, we're going to uh, just check on that. And yep, we're going to take one of these nails and put it through the top. Not all the way though, you want to leave about a centimeter or so of room on the top. Mallets just to drill the initial hole. Then you can sort of push it down. I'm sealing this off with a hot glue gun too, just to make sure that it doesn't leak. Okay, go ahead now and take off the lid once the hot glue has dried. And pour in the rest of the water. Uh, not to the top just pretty close uh, right like that 
and I'm going to put the top back on the jar uh, with another small piece of tape connect a another nail to the side of the bottle make sure that it does not touch the tape it must contact the foil in order for this capacitor to work and make this connection as tight as possible I want to get it um, to have the best connection Okay, and our water bottle capacitor is done. Uh, to use it, we first take out our multimeter, turn it to a DC power reading setting, get a DC power supply, and connect the positive terminal, this uh, my power supply is shown off screen, to the top, and connect the negative terminal or ground to the bottom. Uh, you want to give it about 10-15 seconds to charge. This will vary depending on your power supply, of course. and now disconnect and we put the leads of the meter connected to the capacitor watch the screen and we had a little jump up to um, about two hundredths of a volt that's not so much but that's because we didn't put too much in but uh, there you have it the water bottle capacitor a couple of improvements that could be made you could um, get a bottle with a flatter surface on the outside um, that just seems to work better you can also use a larger bottle I didn't have anything larger on hand uh, but it would work better uh, be careful not to use too large of a bottle because to an extent you can really get a lot of power into these if you put static electricity into these uh, you're using it as what is called a Leyden jar and you can draw off some pretty big sparks from that by uh, connecting the two terminals after you've charged the top with static. But you have to be very careful with that. Uh, if you get enough spark, it's very easy to injure yourself. And remember, I'm not responsible for your safety. You're going to have to watch out for yourself, although I do hope that you uh, build one of these, you know, build a whole army of these if you're really having fun. Uh, and I'll see you next time, Tech Tuesdays.